All right, what's going on guys? It's Kyle back with a new video. I'm with my brother. Chase. He hasn't been in a video in a while, but sorry for the lack of uh, uploads and streams. Coming soon, hopefully, unless I'm just too lazy to do it. Probably not. Um, we're gonna be showing off my G Fuel collection as of February, whatever day it is, 2021. And I started drinking G Fuel and buying the product in June of 2020. So, it hasn't been that long, but the last time we've got a lot of updates. He has done like showing his setup, like his collection, is was June twenty third. Yeah. And then he only had like a total of like six tubs. But, and we've got a lot more. So yeah. the first thing we're starting off with is the uh, tick to go scoopers. So we've got this yellow one. I believe it came with peach iced tea. Not peach iced tea. No, I don't have that one. I have no clue. Peach rings. I mean, they got red and pink, I guess. That one probably, came, I think, came with bubble gum. Or not bubble gum. No, yeah, bubble gum. Yeah. One of these red ones came with PewDiePie. And then another one of them. Oh, you do. It's the exact same. Another one of them came with Moon Pie, I believe. I like red. Blue. So I like the red and blue ones. We've got this hot pink, which I'm guessing. Or not really hot pink, but pink. It was I'm sour phase berry. Purple was butters. So now we've got the boxes. This was the second box I ever got. Moon pie. Pretty sick box. I'm really glad I picked this one up. Got a Mortal Kombat box. I don't really play the game, but uh, pretty cool. I actually have, did you show it up there? Or? Oh, no, I'm dumb. I actually have two of those, but that was just to get the shaker for, or both of the shakers. Okay. Next one we've got is a Sonic's Peach Rings one. Again, I love this flavor. Really glad I picked it up. Then there's the Phase X one. Looks pretty cool. The back, top, sides. After Phase X, we've got, I'm sorry, the Sour Phase Berry. I love the Phase logos, and then they've got the scissors on there. Great box. Uh, I love the design. It's pretty nice. Yeah. Now, then there's Butters Starfruit one. Butters is like my favorite flavor. Well, the Starfruit. And then there's the back. And then we've got Trick or Treat. I got this one with the Sour Blue Chug Rug Halloween reskin, not the Peach Ice Tea. Pretty nice Halloween design. And I'm glad I picked all of these up, honestly. I think bubblegum was one of his first flavors, and it looks pretty cool. And we, we for some reason, put the sticker on there instead of somewhere else. <laughs> and there's the back. Yeah, but the bottoms are all pretty much the same. I've also had two of the Butters collector's boxes, but I gave one of those to my cousin because I didn't need to. And the last one we have is PewDiePie's flavor, his collector's box. Mm -hmm. I like that they made his face like basically out of like his his uh channel and stuff. And pretty sick box. Love the flavor. So that is all of the collector's boxes. We're gonna pause this and we're gonna show off the shakers next. Oh. Alright, we're back we got all the shakers. The first one I'm gonna show off is the Phase X Shaker. I believe is what it's called. It came with Phase X's collector's box. Pretty sick design. I barely use this one just to keep it nice so it doesn't get ruined and stuff. And there's a <laughs> Twitch one. Looks pretty cool. The logo. And then, yeah, I mean, I guess that's, it's okay. The next one we've got is another tall boy. It's the Phase Blacked Out Tall Boy. It was a Black Friday exclusive one. And I, I really like Faze, so I just had to pick it up for that. And then there's PewDiePie's, which I don't use really any of these because, yeah, I'm just not able to. <laughs> and it looks pretty cool. Black insert. The next shaker that I've got, and these are in no particular order, like which one I got first or anything like that, is the Sour Faze Berry Shaker. Uh, I got this, obviously, with Sour Face Berry Collector's Box when they restocked it. Um, so, yeah. Got that one. 
The next one we've got is a Doom one. I've only used this once and it was in a video where I had to use all my shakers um, to try every flavor with my friend. If you haven't checked that one out, link will probably not be in the description. <laughs> uh, then there's Butters, I believe. Yep, Butters. It's, this, this one is the second version of Butters that came out. Yes, the second one that you could only get with the collector's box. Got the pink insert, you can see it. There is a little bit of water and stuff in there. The next one, this one I actually, I think I've only used it once as well. It's Bahama Mama's uh, shaker that came with the collector's box. I got Now I got the flavor and the cup. It would be awesome to have the sticker or the actual box for it because I think it has a sick design. And I got Nick A30's cup. Looks pretty cool. I like, like the colors in it that it's clear. The next shaker that I almost never use, probably once or twice, is, I believe it is called the Official Phase. Not 100% sure if that's what it's called, but I like it. It was a, I'm not sure how rare of a cup it is, but I had to get it on Mercari. Because um, they removed it from the rewards page as I got enough rewards to get it. So yeah, I'm able to do that. The Mortal Kombat cup, just the bright yellow, black insert, and this, the logo right there. Pretty cool. The next one is the last tall boy that I have. Um, it's the pink topaz, I believe. It's pretty, pretty cool. I got it just in case. Uh, like, I like the tall boys better, so I got it for that. In case I think there's a really long gaming session, and I can just use this instead of multiple cups of G Fuel. We got another, the other Butters cup. The pink, the purple, looks really nice. Now this cup, I believe, is the only cup that I have never used. Like, not once. And it's Logic 2.0 Shaker. I probably will never use it, just to make sure nothing happens to it so it doesn't break. And maybe in case, case ever, if, if, if it ever becomes worth a lot of money, I can just sell it. <laughs> and we got the Sonic one. I like Sonic. The blue, classic blue and yellow. Looks uh, pretty cool. We got Sonic. See it? The next one is Phase 2.0. It's starting to get a little uh, scuffed right there on the logo, so that's kind of upsetting. Uh, I think they just restocked this randomly one day, so I picked it up because I really like Phase. And yeah. There's the Moon Pie Cup, which I believe this the insert was originally yellow. I think he switched it out. Yeah, I switched it out with the Sonics one just because yeah. to match the top of it. And yeah, logo. All right, the next one we've got is Bubblegum Shaker. Simple design, just pink and white. But I obviously got it with Bubblegum's collector's box. And I believe that Bubblegum was my first dub. First to second, right around. Uh, then there's the New York's 27... 2017 Comic Con. See, just right there. The red and blue with a, like a white clearish insert, I guess. And then, yeah. Pretty cool. The next one, I'm not sure what the official name of it is, but it is. It's, I just call it the Gorilla Cup. It, it's got a grill on it. Pretty sick design. I got it off the rewards page because it was one of the only ones I didn't have on there. Um, so. Yeah, I just got it for that reason, just to have more cups. We got the Phase Blackout, I think it's called. I did that one already. Oh, you did? <laughs> yeah. Never I just mind. put it over there since you were using it. Oh. Um, the next one is the Sliver.TV. It's still on the rewards page, I believe. They did change the name to Theta, so it's like, if you liked Sliver TV better than Slata, Theta, not Slata, um, then I would pick this up before it goes away. Yeah. It's the Winter White. Oh, it's the Winter White one. I don't really know much of the names. I just like the cups. Just all white. It looks pretty cool. This one I think is the only purple translucent one that I have. Uh, I think it's the Flom, Flume Flom. I don't really know. That. Bird cup. I really like the design on it. The uh, the 
black with the purple. Looks pretty nice. I like that one because I look like a dark purple. This one, I just got this one because it was blue. And I really like blue, like all shades of it. I don't really know how to say this person's name. If it will fit the focus. I don't know how to get something to focus. But if you guys know what this one is, just leave it in the comments. And the last one is Daquan's W key shaker that came with his collector's box. Um, I got this one off of Mercari as well because I thought it looked cool, but I I don't really use it that much. And then also we don't have it yet, but to go with this we do have or I do have uh, Bobby Boysenberry on the way. I got the collector's box. And I also got the Extra Life Shaker off of the rewards page. So those will be added to the collection very soon. Now we're going to grab the tubs. the tubs and that stuff and show all those off. Alright guys, we got all the tubs behind us. But before we get into those, I've got a box for the cans. I kept one box uh, just to have it because I don't know if I'd ever get more cans or not. And I've kept one of every can that I have tried which would be uh, one blue ice. Peach rings, I love this design the most. And then lastly, wumpa fruit. If you wanna know the order in which I like these, it's uh, peach rings, wumpa, and then blue ice. They all taste good, it's just uh, peach rings and wumpa are just better to me. So, I've got that. I'm just gonna point out that I have barely had any of these so I can't really give you an opinion we've but. just got them all like on this chair right here yeah this beat up little my gaming chair ignore that but <laughs> yeah I mean let's just get straight into looking at these we got he has two of the butters star fruit ones pretty cool design I think we showed these off in the last one, if you want to check that out. I don't know if he's going to put a link in, but... Then we've got the Moon Pie Tub. There is actually no more Moon Pie in here, but there is one scoop of every flavor um, that I have in here, and we try it at the end of the year. I add every flavor into it, and it just keeps getting worse and worse. <laughs> we got uh, the Hype Sauce. Looks pretty cool. Once again, I have not tried a ton of these. Also, this also is in no particular order. We just grabbing them from up here, telling you guys, or showing you guys, and yeah, it's not like I got these ones first or anything. Now, the four that have been shown, I did get first. Those are one of the earlier ones that he has. But, yeah. And then there's bubble gum which looks pretty cool. I don't remember if I've had this one or not, but I think so. It looks pretty cool. The next one that I've got is the Sour Nightmare Fuel inspired by Phase Rug, Sour Blue Chug Rug, but for Halloween. It's got a pretty sick design on it, and I actually like this flavor a lot more than I thought I would. After that, we've got the French vanilla. I said it was really good in the review I did for it, but I just haven't really drank it since. Um, I have had it a couple times, and it just kept falling in my ranking every time that I had it. But it's pretty good in milk. Um, then there's Raging Gum Gummy Fish, inspired by Faze Jev. Looks really cool. I like, um, I forgot what. Swedish fish? Yeah, I like Swedish fish. So, yeah, it's pretty cool. Alright, this one that I've got, I'm sure if most people watching this, you probably know my standing on this flavor, but it is Spicy Demonade. Uh, definitely a good one to have. I heard that most game-inspired G Fuel flavors go for about a year, and then they're vaulted, so... I don't really know when that came out, but I would get on buying it just in case, if, if you want to have the tub just because. 
Um, there's Twisted Candy. This is like, I think my second, my first or second favorite G Fuel that I've had. Uh, looks really cool. I like the colors. All right. The next ones we got is Sour Phaseberry. Pretty good flavor. It's ranked right about the um, same level as regular Phaseberry, but I do like Sour Phaseberry just a little bit more. And then I've got a flavor that is definitely in my top 10. Uh, great flavor, in my opinion. It's watermelon. I this is more of a more recent one I believe I got it with a BOGO that was going on like a few months ago but it is a great tub we got the Sonic peach rings I have yet to try this but I do want to like Sonic all right next up we got two tubs of classified this was a Black Friday exclusive um, well, it was supposed to be, and then they did a BOGO shortly after they released it, and you could they re-released it basically, so I picked up a second one after I already tried it. And this right here is my favorite flavor. If they ever bring it back, I would definitely be picking up another tub, and I would suggest you do too. You do too. Um, there's the Crash Bandicoot, which I love Crash Bandicoot. The Wumper Fruit, still yet to try this, but yeah. Light love craft manicure. All right, and next we've got the PewDiePie tub. It was the it was higher before I tried more flavors. It is definitely a good flavor. They say lingonberry, which is what this is. It's supposed to be like a sweeter cranberry, is what I've heard anyway. But this thing is tart. It's it's very, very tart, um, but it's still a great flavor, and I would recommend picking it up. Um, then we also have Rainbow Sherbert. Lo I like the design on it. Just a ton of ice cream and sugar. Now, if you haven't had Rainbow Sherbert yet, don't let the name fool, fool you. It's basically just a orange sherbet. It's taste that I get, basically. But next we have... The Phase X flavor. Uh, I don't like this one too much. I think it's the um, frost infused part that just really throws me off of whatever the flavor actually is. But it's still decent. I'd drink this over some other flavors for sure. And I would definitely pick it up if you're a fan of Phase. Um, we have Tropical Rain. Uh, like all the fruits and there's a little island on it. Pretty cool. Have not had this one yet. Next up, we've got Scorpion Sting, one of the two Mortal Kombat flavors. Um, obviously, they got Scorpion on it and Fire. It's a spicy mango if you haven't had it. Definitely uh, recommend picking it up if you like Mortal Kombat. It's, it's a great design, but in my opinion, not a great taste. Um, there's uh, Bahama Mama. Looks really cool and it's inspired by Roman Atwood. I think this is one of the few that I've had, and it's pretty light, so I think he likes it. The next one we have is the other the other Mortal Kombat flavor, which is Ice Shatter, and there's Sub-Zero. I let somebody else open this tub, and they like ripped it from the top and ripped, ripped it like that. Still salty about that, but since I really like this flavor, I'm not going to be too mad because... I'll definitely end up getting another tub of this so I could just replace the top like that. Um, we have Battle Juice. I have not had this one. It's inspired by Faze. Looks really cool. Next up, we've got Ugly Sweater, which is Kiwi Strawberry. Um, this, I believe, they released it with their 12 Days of Christmas. Um, it was teased as a reskin, but uglier, hence the name Ugly Sweater. One second. All right, guys, we're finishing this a little bit later. We got rudely interrupted. Yeah. 
So these are the rest of the tubs that we have not shown yet. We've got Shiny Splash, inspired by A Drive, which, by the way, um, it was leaked on Cliff's TikTok of a collector's box for this. So I don't know if they're going to re-release it with a collector's box or what their plan is for all that, but keep an eye out, especially if you ha haven't had this flavor yet and you want to try it. I have not had this one, but it's Lyrics Nine Lives. Peach iced tea. Okay. Looks pretty cool, like a Halloween theme. Then we've got the Nemesis Iced Tea, which is a great flavor. I had it a lot when I first got it, but I uh, haven't had it recently that much. Definitely need to have more of this. And there's Strawberry Shortcake. Haven't had this one either. Uh, tons of cakes on there. See? <laughs> Duh. But yeah. Inspired by Apex. The next one I just grabbed is Strawberry Banana, inspired by KSI. And for this flavor, it was leaked that they are making a can for it. I'm not really sure how that would taste for um, carbonated strawberry banana. But hopefully it's good. Then we've got Black on Blackberry, the reskin. This originally was Dr. Disrespect's flavor, but obviously is not anymore. I, I wonder if they're going to re-release the cans that they had for it um, with different branding, but pretty good flavor, and I totally want to try the cans. Next we got Snow Cone, one of my first tubs. Nothing really going on on the sides, just the front really, but great flavor, great, really great summer flavor. This one is guava, and for this one, I'm going to have Chase smell this before because he never has. Mm. This is random. Mm. Smells like juice. Dude, um. it smells like dirty socks, bro. It, it, really? It's like the worst smelling G Fuel flavor, but it is not bad. It is really good. I think it smells just fine. This, what the f- Listen, you're not even mine. Right here. Mm. This guy. Alright, what one is that? It's Peach Cobbler. Uh, yeah, I don't think there's anything there. This one is- Just mint on the front. Is a seasonal flavor. They only bring it around during Thanksgiving, which is when you'd have Peach Cobbler, but Pretty good in milk, not the best in water. Then we've got grape. Everybody knows grape. I like it. I'm glad it doesn't taste like grape medicine, at least to me. But I have heard people say it does. So definitely go with packets before you buy a tub. Um, we got Phase Berry. Never had it, and it's inspired by the Phase Phase Clan. Yeah, pretty cool. All right. And the um the last tub that we have is cherry limeade. The it was originally Phase Sensors flavor when he was sponsored and stuff. But it's not his flavor anymore, obviously. They did take this off the website. I think it's gonna be in a uh summer only flavor, so it might come back during the summer. But we're gonna pause this and uh, make a tower with the uh, G Fuel and just show you guys what that looks like. All right guys, we just got it all put in a tower. I started to do my least favorites at the bottom and then after four I just said, let's just put it all together. We've got so much up here. We had to use a fan to keep it supported because <laughs> it, it almost fell and then some of the top did fall, but we've got a lot. The good thing is most of these flavors are actually good um, and I will end up drinking them. Some obviously faster than the others. 
like raging gummy fish. Well, that one is so good. Classified, I'm almost actually done with my first tub of it. It'll be on to that second one, and then I just have to wait for it to re-release, which is gonna suck. But, uh, yeah. I don't know how this looks. Look. Alright, uh, this is gonna be the end of this video, guys. Make sure you leave a like, uh, comment what mixes you guys think I should do with all this G Fuel, so now you have a video that shows all of it. And I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace out. Maybe he'll be there with me. Maybe. Probably not.